Hi, my name is Emma Kappel, and I go to SCO. Uh, <laughs> this poem is entitled, Her. All my life, I've loved the feeling of an old book under my hands. And since I was a little girl, I would believed I'd grow up and have a husband like the men I read about in books. And they would hold me tight like the binding of the novels lining my shelves. I believed in fairy tale romances, but I wasn't going to be the damsel in distress. Oh, no, no, I was going to be the daring princess who saved her prince. And then I met her. I fell in love with her for her parchment-toned hair, the feeling of it flowing through my fingers, whisper thin and soft. I fell in love with her for her name. It melted on my tongue, forced me to yearn to hear it rolling from my mouth like the way a thunderstorm pitter-patters its way into my view. I fell in love with her for her body, and no, not in the shallow way where I saw her only as an object, one to be played with and discarded. I loved her for the way the corners of her lips curved up when she smiled. I loved her for the soft skin on her shoulders, the way her hair fell over her collarbone and swept up against her temple when she pulled it up. I fell in love with her for her story, for the way she bared her soul to my hands, waiting for me to let it sit in my mind, let it bounce around in my head, let it weigh me down, and yet finally unclip my wings and let me run away from my reality for a moment of peace. I fell in love with her for her pride, for the way she displays her heart and her achievements across her lapel, belting out her voice for any person who dared to open her mouth and let her sing. I fell in love with her for her skin and how it glittered under the spotlight she sat in, the blush pink champagne bubbling in her hands, the rough calluses of her palms covered by perfect nails. And yes, this is a love confession to her, the girl with the parchment colored hair, the girl whose eyes spark with new imaginations, the girl who has so many people running around in her head, so many worlds she has yet to finish, the girl who is the one who realized who I was before I did. I fell in love with a girl who wasn't a girl. She had a name, but it was instead a title. She had hair, but her hair was made of paper. She had a story, but it was the one written on her pages. She had a voice, but it was the one in my head, my narrator, the one that told me everything about my adventures. I fell in love with a girl who was really just a book.